Garo Short Stories, written and narrated by Connor Whiteley. Assassin's Game One shot, one kill, one death can change everything, from the result of a simple skirmish to the result of a war. This is what we are told in the Secret Service, or, if we are being pacific, the Grand Order of Assassins. We have a small team up within the Secret Service, and we are as a clandestine as they come, as we only answer to the Chancellor and the Lord Commander themselves. Us assassins are much more than death given form. We are hell and shadow given form, because nowhere is off limits. We can infiltrate anywhere, we can kill anyone, we can take the identity of anyone. So ask yourself this, is your commanding officer or brothers in arms actually them, or am I them? Bring me to this fun memory of a mission on the frontier world, a world that is just on the border of uh, chartered and uncharted space of uh, Macmillan 6. I suppose it was a beautiful, lustrous world, but I care little for beauty these days. I'm only interested in the kill. I was sent here to be the hidden blade and the wrath of the Chancellor, as she personally sent me to this distant world to assassinate the Governor-elect in... An interesting manner, my favourite way, in all honesty. She ordered this particular assassination as his planetary governor wanted to break away from the Republic and start his own empire, all under his oppressive rule. That and he had been less than discreet about his wishes. It only took two days for the news to reach Earth, and another day for it to reach the Chancellor's desk. And then I was called in. One thing I love about being an assassin is that you can do whatever and whoever you want without no consequences, as I'll demonstrate in a moment. At this point, the governor was having a, a grand celebration for his uh, crushing victory. Over 10 million people were here in the palace gardens, where he was about to give a, a speech. On the stage, the governor began, while I sat back drinking some fine tea. Citizens of Macmillan VI, today is the day. We have won our freedom. Today is the day we strike back at the oppressive Republic. As soon I will order our planetary defence forces to target all incoming Republic ships so we can send a clear message to the Republic. We are free. We are not slaves. Then he made his fatal mistake and I smiled. He drunk from his golden hip flask. I had tainted with a unique type of poison. My own personal brew, if you like to know. Now death's glorious agent can play. He started to cough violently before screaming. No, no, supernatural creatures, go back to whatever hell hole you came from. In reality, there was nothing there. But in his mind, there was massive, monstrous creatures forming around him. And there in the sky. He waved his hands around violently, hitting himself repeatedly. Governor, are you okay? His supreme lord, the commander, asked, with a fault, I sent, kill him, to the governor. Immediately, the governor jumped on his friend, trying to kill him. Yet in one muscular turn up for his arm, the commander ripped off the governor's head. My mission was done. I left. A week later, I learned that the Republic had sent in a large detachment of angels and marines, as well as secret service agents to investigate and wipe out any other extremists in the system. As for Macmillan VI, the Supreme Lord the Commander became governor, and after a brutal conversation with me, he joined the Republic. I say he, but well, sometimes I need to fill in for people while they're permanently away. This has been Gavo Short Stories, written and narrated by Connor Whiteley.